All right, howdy. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower Fantasy. My name is Vinicius SG, and what's good? All right, guys, this is a tier list video for Tower of Fantasy. I'm going to be ranking the weapons that I have from S tier all the way to E tier. Now, let me preface this video by saying this. I fully understand what game I am playing. I understand that certain characters with certain advancements, higher advancements, become broken, and then at a lower advancement, they are probably like trash. So this video is coming from the standpoint of a person who is like a free-to-play player, sometimes dolphin player, or just a free-to-play player that can sometimes spend money on the game. If you're a whale, I understand you will have a different perspective on these characters, and I would love to hear your differing opinions down in the comment in a polite and positive, constructive way. Also, I am going to omit characters that I just do not have because I cannot speak on something that I do not know. So if you see that a character is missing, a weapon is missing, it's because I don't have it and I can't speak on it. So to tell you if it's good or bad, or I can't give you my opinion on it because I've never literally used it. All right, so let's get right into this tier list. All right, so uh, first we'll just start with something simple, Ling Han. I'm going to go ahead and put Ling Han at S tier because I have her at A3 and I think she is probably one of the best DPS characters in the game because she just does incredible amounts of damage. She is a Frost DPS character, just super, super good. All right, next we'll go with Saki. I really like Saki and I think that Saki is not exactly like game breaking. I think S tier is like game breaking like stuff, um, but I do like Saki for tanking and I think that she belongs in A tier for sure. Let's go with Faisa. I, I gotta tell you, man, I know the popular opinion is that Faisa at higher advancements is really good. I got her at like A1, I think, and I have zero reason to use her because she is absolute garbage to me. I, I know. I know you're probably saying, bro, you're faded. She is actually really good. If so, let me know down in the comments what's so good about her. I, I've read her advancements, and I, I believe that she can be good at higher advancement, but for me, at A1, A0, it's... All right, next, let's go with Shiro. I'm going to put Shiro at B simply because I know if I put her at C, people are going to trip. And most people are going to say put her at A tier because of her shatter capability. But me personally, because this is a my point of view tier list, I just don't see like, I don't see her being like as good as Saki. You know what I mean? I, I see her, her, what she's good for in certain raids and stuff like that. But I'm just going to keep her at B. Um, let me know if I'm faded down in the comments. All right, let's go with Claudia. Somebody said A minimum on Claudia. I got Claudia finally. I love Claudia. I think Claudia's a really good weapon. It's a damage weapon, but unfortunately, I gotta say B, man. I don't see her doing anything super good in today's current meta. Like, I just, I don't know. I got her at no advancement, so maybe at a higher advancement, she's super good. And, and listen, again, I like the weapon Claudia. I love it. I want to use it all the time, but it's just, it doesn't scream A tier to me. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll go zero. Listen, don't at me. Don't at me. <laughs> when I need to keep the team alive, zero comes through. That damage immunity, the shields, the healing, the, the everything. Bro, he's, he does everything. I know he's not like super good and he's super old, but for me, zero is, he's, he's S tier for me. Uh, let's go with Frigg. Bro, her kit reads like she should be A tier, B tier. But she, yeah, C tier on Frig. Can we, just let me know if you agree, disagree. Uh, whoa, Hawang, Mimi. This is literally the best, like, brother. If there was an S plus tier, I put her there. She's literally, she carries my teams. Whenever I put her on, whenever I use her, she carries all the time. So Mimi is definitely S tier. Uh, let's go with Huma. I want to say that Huma is as good as a Saki. I got my Saki, but see, here's the thing, right? Like, at A5, Huma is as good as, like, an A2 Saki, I think. So I'm just going to say, to be on the safe side, well, mm, but she's better than Huma, though. She really is. I want to put her at A tier, but I'm going to put her at B tier. I might be faded on that. Let me know. Okay, then we got Fiona. Listen. I don't think there's any other place for Fiona. She's literally the best weapon in the game. I'm trying to put this thing perfectly. She's literally the best weapon in the game. Like, honestly. I don't. It, I, we'll see what happens when Nan Yen comes out, which one's better. But for right now, Fiona is, like, the best. Nan Yen's coming out in 13 hours, something like that. Uh, so then we've got Lin. Brother, I'm beyond honest with you. I got Lin at A0 and I got her and I just... 
Don't even use her. I leveled her up because the all alter team. So maybe she'll go up in my rankings. What do you have her at? But for me, it's going to be a nod dog. Um, Lan. As a tank, I want to put her at A. I really don't see her as a tank. I see her as a fire DPS with, with extra benefits. So I put her at A. I don't have any advancements on Lan. So with higher advancements, she may be broken. I don't know. Um, I don't see her as a B tier character though. Even at even at zero advances, I see her at A. She's okay. She's G. She, I'm not gonna say she gives me enough survivability as as much survivability as Saki, but I definitely see her her worth. And I think if I put her lower than A, people will trip. All right, then let's go Coco Ritter. Yeah, man. Listen, she is the, the last of a dying breed. They have not given us a, a healer character that actually just heals. So for me, she's A tier. I would put her or S tier, but she's not game breaking. Icarus, trash. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we got Rubilia. I just because of her flight, her in-game fighting crap, but her flight puts her up there for me. What do you think? Uh, we got Zeke. I have no choice. I have no choice. I mean, without Zeke, I don't get through half the crap in Bygone Phantasm. His ability to execute targets, it, brother, he needs to be S+, plus, like actually. And then we got Meryl. Meryl is probably my favorite weapon in the game right now. But it doesn't do anything for you. I know in higher advancements she gets a shield and hopefully I'll be able to spend my, my flame gold to get her at higher advancements. But for right now at A1, I think I got her at A1 or A2. Let me actually check. I got Tower of Fantasy open right now and I can see exactly what I have my Meryl. Okay, I got my Meryl at A2 and I got to tell you at A2, even though she's like the most fun weapon for me to use, I love watching my character do the Meryl animations, um, the damage and everything like that. She's, she's just not as... You know what? Screw it. I'll put her at B tier. I'll put her at B tier. What do you got her at? I like the weapon. Uh, Ruby, she can stay her ass in E because she's trash. Uh, let's see. We got Lyra. Now, somebody recently has been asking me about Lyra, and I wanted to get Lyra as soon as I got the PlayStation version of the game. And I got Lyra as my first weapon, and I didn't really use her too much, and I still haven't used her too much. But lately, though, somebody asked me a question about her healing. And now that I've been, like, learning exactly how to use her, Lyra is really, really good. I don't have her in any at, at higher advancements. Again, she's at, like, A0 for me. So at A0, she's still pretty good. I'm pretty sure at, like, A3, A5, definitely at A6, she's probably, like, like top tier broken. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about Lyra. Like, actually, I'm not farming for a comment. I literally want to know what you think about Lyra and how good she is. Because me running her now, like, learning how to play with her and stuff, like, using her advanced mechanics or whatever, she's actually pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Yulon. <laughs> is there any other place for Yulon? She's literally... I want to say that Mimi is the best character that I have. But, man, it's a close fight with Yulon, bro. I got A3 Yulon, and A3 Yulon is, like... She's perfect. She is literally perfect in every way. Then we've got, let's see, Liua, a Lihua. I don't, I don't, I only have her A1. I only have her A1. And I know a lot of people are going to say that she belongs up here. For me, I haven't seen her do anything game breaking yet. I don't even have her A1. I got A0. For me, I haven't seen her do anything game breaking. Like, she's not as good as a Fiona to me. So, I have no choice as a free-to-play player for her. I have no choice but to put her at B. I get it. She's probably the most damaging fire DPS in the game right now. I guess, yeah, for that reason, we'll go ahead and put her at A tier. But I have her at A0, and brother, um, I just don't see any damage with her. <laughs> She's trash to me. Uh, oh, yeah, Nan Yin. I've never used Nan Yin, but after reading her kit, I'm just going to go ahead and throw her up that S tier because she looks amazing. Uh, Ruby, like I said, she can stay her ass right there. King. I think he's better than Crow, but 
he let me down a couple times. I got him at the, I think I got him like A6 or something like that. And I love the scythe. I love his character, but he doesn't do anything now. He's like, he's, he's beyond useless. I hope they give him a buff soon. Maybe, probably. Uh, and then we've got Crow. He's my favorite simulacra to use in the game because he's the coolest looking male character. But as far as useful, I think that he is probably the worst DPS character in the game. I get it. He has his crit stuff at higher advancements, but you got to crouch. You got to attack from the back and all this nonsense. Listen, I don't want to attack from the back. I just want him to have a higher crit rate when I put this thing on there. All right. When I use this crow weapon to skyrocket my crit rate so I could hit something and I hit a crit and I get crit damage and it makes make him viable. You know what I mean? You got all these super powerful characters up there. Make him viable. That's all I'm saying. For me, he's he's. I don't even I don't even want to use him because he's trash. He's trash. All right, so that's it. Um, again, I've omitted characters that I just don't have. I'm sorry for that. If you like have opinions on these characters that I don't have, like the the no no character or you know the the Cobalt B or whatever, let me know down in the comments. And then let me know what you think. I got S tier, Nan Yen, Zero, Mimi, Fiona, Zeke, Yulon. Ling Han, I called her Nan Yen. All right, A tier, Saki, Lan, Coco Ritter, Rubilia, Liua, B tier, Shiro, Claudia, Huma, Meryl, Lyra, C tier, Faisa. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that. Frig, Lin, Icarus, C tier. I like Icarus. I got him at zero advancements. He does his thing. He, he's good DPS, but at zero advancement, I just don't see him being as good or as useful as any other character. You know what I mean? Like, he's got some really good shatter, I guess. And I might, based on that alone, bring him up to a B tier because he's got really good shatter. But I just don't, you know, it's not like, dang, he's so good. You know, I don't I don't feel that from like an A0 him. And so he might be higher, better or higher advancement. So C tier, we've got... Faisa, Frig, Lin, D tier, King, he's just there by himself. And then E tier, like, do you even use Ruby? She's like the second character I got on PlayStation. Like, and I'm a day one player on PC, but I stopped when Cobalt B came out because it got hard to get characters. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about this tier list down in the comments. And if you want to see another type of tier list, um, like as far as anything, let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to do it. Be sure to check out my Tower of Fantasy content. Uh, if you haven't already, I don't know when you're watching this video, but I'm going to be doing live pulls for Nan Yen. I'd really appreciate it if you watched and left your comments and likes. And also, try to like this video. Let's try to get this little video to like 30 likes. All right, guys? So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.